Welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In session today we are going to talk about one of DevOps topic Python pip. This session will be helpful for beginners who are not aware what is pip, where pip is used and uh, what are the basic pip commands. So for beginners I'm sure this session will be helpful. So first thing what is pip? So friends pip stands for pip install python or pip installs package like rpm in linux pip is a package management system used to install and manage software packages written in python programming language most of the pip packages can be found in the python package index or pypi in short so friends uh, for example uh, if you have checked my previous videos on amazon to use Amazon CLI which is AWS CLI that's again a pip package so I used pip uh, to install AWS CLI in last video so that's the reason I'm just discussing what is pip because in your company or your environment most of the people are talking about pip which you may be not aware what is pip what these guys are talking about so whole purpose of this session to give you idea what is pip okay to install pip you need uh, Python installed on your machine and uh, one good thing Python versions above 2.7.9 in Python 2.x series or Python 3.4 and later they include pip by default so no need to install separately you can check your Python version by running Python space minus capital V it will tell you what's your Python version if you see your Python version is lower which does not have pip installed by default you can install pip manually so I've listed uh, steps to install pip okay you can run yum install python pip on Red Hat CentOS or Fedora if you go Debian or Ubuntu you can use apt-cat install python pip and if you have to upgrade pip itself you can use pip command pip install dash dash upgrade followed by pip in this page uh, I have listed couple of examples of using pip so to install a pip package pip install package name you can uh, use couple of options which may be if you want to install any particular package name minus r requirement txt basically this file you can update this file with uh, all your pip packages which you want to install on your system so instead of uh, running command uh, again and again your pip command will check what are the packages listed in requirement.txt it will install all those packages along with the dependencies if you have to upgrade pip package pip install followed by dash dash upgrade then package name it will upgrade the package to the latest version available next thing pip list pip list basically list what are the packages installed on your system or your pip environment and uh, they are in case insensitive sorted order if you want to check what are the outdated packages you can use dash dash outdated if you want to check what packages are up to date you can use dash dash up to date if you want to see what packages are only local means they are not uh, globally installed so you can use dash dash local the next command pip show this shows uh, information about uh, packages installed on your system it gives uh, like more information if you remember with rpm command you are using rpm space minus q for query i for information v for verbose that's the same thing it will tell you what's a package purpose who return it uh, what are the files delivered by this package so every in everything you can get with this command then pip search that's uh, again same to your yum search pip search you can uh, put uh, a basically a string like you want to search let's say boto package boto so it will check on uh, pip index uh, what are the packages available with the, this particular string so it will give you information if you want to uninstall a package you can run pip uninstall pip package name again uh, I have listed uh, requirement file thing if you want to uninstall multiple packages you can put it in requirement file so pip will read uh, requirement file whatever the package is mentioned in requirement file it will remove or uninstall those packages so that was theoretical things friends uh, let's begin with technical session now okay 
So I have uh, opened the SSS session to one of my server. And this server go to Red Hat 7 or you can say Enterprise Linux 7 basically that's sent to us but that's similar to Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 7.3 core. Okay, so let's check whether pip is already installed or not. One thing you can run pip command. If you see command not found, it mean uh, it is not installed. But to be sure, you can run uh, rpm minus qa grab pip. That's for Linux. But uh, if you are using any other variant, you can run apt get command or any other relevant command to check whether package is installed or not. So that's something different. Lib pipeline that is not pip package. Okay, so pip package is not installed next thing which i mentioned we have to check our python version python is installed or not i'm running python space minus v so my python version is 2.7.5 so python is installed and uh, this is the version as you mentioned after or uh, 2.7.9 pip is installed by default so on this one pip is not installed so first thing we have to install the pip package as i mentioned this is sent to us so to install we have to run em install Python pip that's a package name in RPM pressing enter here so my server is connected to internet it will get this package from uh, repositories okay so it found package package name is python2 pip if you see it automatically resolved because that's python2.x series so it got python2 pip if that's a uh, python 3 it will get package python 3 dash pip automatically so that's a uh, beauty of yum i'm saying yes i want to install this package so package is getting installed now okay friends package is installed to be sure uh, you can run again uh, rp minus qa pip if you see now this is the package it just got installed okay next thing let's run pip commands the first command which i explained that was uh, pip so let's run pip if you run simply pip it will give you all options so i'm going to discuss couple of options out of these but you can check man pages you can uh, check pip website for further detail my intention is to give you basic idea okay so let's run first command pip list to see what pip packages are installed by default because I have not run any pip installation command. If you see, these are the pip packages which are installed. So this is the package, pip package, this is a version. Botocore, this is a version. Cardet, this is a version, like so on. So these packages are installed. Let's check what packages are outdated, means which are on a lower version, but higher version is available on net. So you can use pip list dash dash outdated. This command uh, may take a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes depending upon your connection speed with the internet or uh, your server. Okay, it finished. If you see, uh, it is telling that, uh, for example, pip 8.1.2, this package is currently installed on the system and latest available is on wheel, which is 9.0.1. So uh, that's a example like how pip checks what are the latest packages available mm, one thing you may be thinking what is wheel what is s test basically wheel is a built package format and it offers advantage not to recompile your software during every install because let's say you are going to upgrade so what is going to happen by default is it's going to recompile the package with latest uh, download but uh, with wheel it uh, will not recompile the package so that's beauty of wheel. If you see other package, uh, numpy, numpy 1.7.1 is installed, but latest available is 1.11.2, so on. So uh, that's a way to check what packages are outdated. And uh, let's check what packages are up to date. Uh, so that's uh, other way around, right? Uh, like you can run many of these command up to date or outdate. So it's only giving you information which packages are already latest which are not latest okay this command finish if you see only these packages are up to date and next thing i mentioned if you want to see uh, list the package which are local which are not uh, global 
and these packages are in local scope i am root user right now if uh, you are non root user again you can use your pip commands to install packages which are local right now i'm running all the things as root but uh, in a idle scenario or idle setup your end users or your developers will run their own pip commands they will install packages locally and uh, because when you install package as root that becomes global to your system so uh, make sure like in your ideal scenario your developers are installing pip packages in their home but initially you have to install pip package for them on your system so they can use pip commands okay this was about uh, pip list let's uh, do pip installation mm, let's install pip install uh, let's install AWS CLI on this server okay as AWS CLI is delivered by pip I'm going to use pip install AWS CLI pressing enter here so if you see it uh, get all information from uh, PYPI and installed uh, AWS CLI okay so if you see uh, collecting AWS CLI these are the dependency packages it at the end it gave message okay successfully installed AWS CLI okay now let's run pip show command pip show AWS CLI as I mentioned pip show is basically if you want to get information about a particular pip package if you see uh, this is the information package name uh, metadata version 2.0 package name AWS CLI this is the version this is the summary and this is the home page uh, author is Amazon Web Services installer using pip we install this is the licensing information and uh, these are the prom programming language or Python support thing so if you want to check what are the files delivered by this package you can use minus minus files so all these files are delivered by this AWS CLI package okay now let's say you want to search a package which is not installed on your system so pip search let's say you want to uh, I'm repeating uh, you want to search a package which is on uh, let's say pip repo pip repository so you are not aware whether it's installed or not that not matters let's say you want to search uh, boto package boto pip search boto press enter so any package which have this string that will be listed if you see uh, boto scripts this code uh, keyword boto this code keyword boto here boto keyword is not here but in its description a boto connection pool so wherever boto keyword it will give you information so you get idea which packages have keyword boto and uh, you can install that uh, required package that was how to search let's say you want to uninstall a package how you can uninstall mm, let's say we want to uninstall pip list uh let's install url grabber uh, uninstall pip uninstall url grabber press enter so if you see it is saying it is uninstalling saying yes here sorry why for yes okay so it successfully uninstalled the package that's a way you can uninstall package and if you noticed after every pip command it is saying your pip version is this one but this is available you want to upgrade yeah so let's try to upgrade to upgrade a pip package pip install dash dash upgrade and package name so this will upgrade the pip package to latest one first it downloaded uninstall the previous and install latest one let's run pip command again if you see this time it will not say like your pip package is old so let's do next thing let's uninstall aws cli also and uh, so we got uh, two packages here url grabber and aws cli so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you demo how you can uh, install the packages with the requirement file so you can name file you can give any name to file that's not uh, mandatory you have to give a requirement or txt so in this file i mentioned these two packages need to be installed and uh, pip install 
minus r minus r is for requirement file requirement dot txt pressing enter here so if you see it got information from this file it is installing both packages successfully installed aws cli and url grabber if you want to uninstall the package uh, same thing uninstall it's uninstalling the packages now it uninstalled aws cli here successfully and 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 it's a big list it's got uh, multiple files that's the reason so let me show you where it uninstalled the other package and that's a really big list uh, let me jump really that's a big package okay so here if you see uninstalling url grabber with the requirement file and successfully uninstalled so that's a way if you want to uninstall uh, multiple packages you can use a minus r option and uh, specify requirement.txt so that was the basic demo uh, again uh, i'm uh, i have already told this thing in ideal scenario your end user or developers will be running their own pip commands they will be creating their own uh, pip environment or you can say virtual environments to manage python installations or uh, the packages which are written in python so that will be their local scope right now whatever packages you are installing as root that's global scope so this session was to give you idea about pip and uh, i believe this will be helpful for you so thanks a lot for watching this video friend if you have any query or any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you bye